you know, I lived it, I breathed it, I became the character. I spent the, the entire year as Detective Pikachu. Bringing Detective Pikachu to the big screen is a privilege that I don't take lightly. Uh, every second of my energy is spent making this character come alive with the same exacting standards that the most discerning fans would have come to expect. Now, as many of you know, uh, I vanish into my roles. You know, this is a funny anecdote. I was, uh, I was on my way to pick up my daughters from school when I heard that I got the role. Well, I didn't show up at school because Detective Pikachu, he doesn't know who those two little girls are. Who are they? They're our daughters. He just, he just left them. He doesn't have a, a wife. No. He's a little yellow guy. Lives in Rhyme City in a, in a briar patch or something. You know, I immerse myself completely within the world of Pokemon. I read about him. I live at his height. I tried to lose 182 pounds to match his weight until doctors intervened. I mean, he, he didn't even change his voice. It just, it just sounds like him. And the point is, my daughters, they may never see their dad again, but you can be damn sure that they're looking up at that big screen this summer and they're gonna see Detective Pikachu. <laughs> We're not going. Pika Pika. <laughs> it's just me.